my dad actually started working here at Gum Springs at Reynolds. And when that shut down 20 years ago, he moved to Texarkana. There was a new aluminum plant opening. He went in, and he's been there ever since. When he went in, they weren't union. Um, there was a new plant opening up. So a couple, you know, everyone gets settled in. They start doing a card sign off. He was on the uh, original board. So they get 80% of these cards. They take them. You have to wait six weeks for an election. Well, 80% turned to 40% by the time that came around. Nothing was directly to him, you know, anti-union. But there were people, you know, there were supervisors in talking. They didn't have any union busting lawyers in, but they surely had advice from them on what they needed to do. Again, this was repeated, and again, it fell a couple years later. A third time, after they were bought out by Alcoa, they were able to uh, get their 80% once again. They could always hit 80%. And they had a neutrality agreement when Alcoa bought it out that they were allowed and finally got it. But let's go back here. We have 80% of the room says, I'm, you know, I'm cool, we'll have a union. What happens in six weeks, both times, that they decide, oh, I don't want to be a union? That 80% of the cards taken in should be enough to get the steelworkers to represent you. Uh, you know, something's going on behind, you know, closed doors, would it be a video, your supervisor saying this, they're saying that. 